everybody, welcome back to Stewardship. This week we're talking about something that a lot of you may know something about. What is that? Peanut butter! Peanut butter. That's right. Peanut butter was introduced at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, making it one of the few foods that's really uniquely American. About half of all peanuts grown in the United States end up becoming peanut butter every year. Did you know that? No. Oh. So this week, see if you can find some peanut butter to take to your local food pantry. That's all for now. We'll see you next week. This is for the kids of St. John's. He's got the whole world in his hands with my lovely assistant doing ASL signing for each of the bugs. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the fuzzy caterpillar in his hands. He's got the fuzzy caterpillar in his hands. He's got the fuzzy caterpillar. Today we're learning about an insect that loves to hop. Can you guess who it is? Let's go learn more about it. Hi everybody, today we're out again at Rutzer Nature Center and I'm here with my friend Jen and we're going to talk about grasshoppers today. Hello everyone, my name is Jen and I'm a teaching naturalist at the Rutzer Nature Center. And I am going to do a little what we call sweeping, uh, which in the insect world essentially means that I'm going to take this sweep net and I'm going to sweep for insects. Because I'm going to talk about grasshoppers, I'm going to see if I can catch some grasshoppers. And I will um, just preface that by saying this time of year, Grasshoppers aren't the big grasshoppers that we're used to seeing. They're generally the small form, the tiny form. And I hope to show you what that's look, gonna look like. So what I do when I sweep is I take my net. Notice it doesn't have any holes and it's made of cloth and I've got a big long pole. And I generally just make a sweeping motion and I do it along the grass and the plant so that hopefully I'm going to get some cool stuff. More than just grasshoppers, I assume. I'm going to do this a few times and really get in there and see what comes up. Close my hole. 
And then I come over to my white cloth and I'm going to do a dump. I'm going to get my jar ready so that maybe I can, um, I can catch a few. But let's see what we get. I'm going to get all kinds of stuff, I think. Something just jumped away. Oh, we've got all kinds of great stuff. It looks like we've got more than just insects. I'm looking for a little tiny grasshopper. I don't see one here. Um, gosh, they're so small. I wonder what I've got right here. That's not a grasshopper, but that's kind of the size that I'm looking for. We all know what grasshoppers look like. Um, and here's some pictures of the grasshoppers that we see hopping around. Usually they're this big by midsummer or end of summer. But what I'm looking for this time of year is the small version of that. So the mom grasshopper lays an egg or some, a bunch of eggs, and out comes a small version of herself, which we call a nymph, a grasshopper nymph. And basically it looks like a teeny tiny little grasshopper and I see lots of leaf hoppers and I see some spiders and all kinds of things here. Oh, and I see a baby version, little larva, caterpillary version of what will grow into an insect. A lot of insects do start out this way. They start out in the larval form as a little worm or a caterpillar, but grasshoppers don't. They have a, a different kind of metamorphosis or a different kind of change that they go through to become an adult, starting with an egg and then turning into a nymph, which is uh, the tiny version of the grasshopper. And then um, it sheds and sheds and sheds and grows into the adult grasshopper that you see in these pictures. Um, so grasshoppers, I'm sure we've all heard them make their their sound, their kind of scratchy, buzzy sort of sound. And the way they make that is by rubbing their back legs on, their wings on their legs. Um, the male is generally the one to do that because he's looking for a mate and makes that nice sound. Um, and they they will sort of make a hoppy sort of movement but i don't know if you've ever noticed they also fly i don't know if you've noticed that the wings can carry them a little ways as well so um if you want to look for grasshoppers in your yard or in the field next to your house um i would highly recommend you know, digging down in the in the grass and maybe bringing a little jar, um, making sure you let them go eventually, um, and see what you can find. Because, like I said, this time of year, they're super tiny, and um, but super cute. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Grasshoppers are amazing, aren't they? Our word for today is faithfulness. Faithfulness means being honest and dependable and true, no matter what, in our relationship with God and with other people. Well, the cool part is, is that the Bible teaches us that God is faithful to us, no matter what, all the time. God always keeps his promises to us, and God is always with us. So that means that we can trust God, whether we're having a bad day or we want to try something new. We can know that God is always going to be there with us, and God's got our back. So what does that have to do with grasshoppers? Well, look at our little friend, the grasshopper, here again. What do you notice about this grasshopper? Well, the grasshopper has really strong legs, doesn't it? Yeah. But the grasshopper also has wings on its back. And you know what that means? That means that the grasshopper has to use its big legs to jump up high, but then its wings will carry it forward. 
That reminds us of me a lot about God. It takes us to trust God so that we jump forward into something new or if we're having a bad situation, but we can trust that God's like those wings on our back and God's going to carry us forward and help us get away from danger and protect us or take us to a new adventure and be with us. But no matter what, we know that we're not alone, are we? So this week, I want you to think about all the situations where you can trust God and be faithful. See you later. Today's memory verse is from Psalm 33, verse 4. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Bye! Thank you for always loving us and never breaking your promises. Help us to be like you.